Welcome back guys! So we are diving straight into it. We are making a corset top, a corset that kind of has the eyelids or hook and eyes or any type of closure that a corset usually has in the front mostly. You've seen some at the back but mostly it's the front and they basically have either like little sleeves, like puffy sleeves or long sleeves or even like shoulder pads or sleeves to give that extra or even like half blazer slash corset but slash top and like it's not a blazer but it's not a corset but it is a top you get what I'm saying either way we are making that because I know you've seen it I've seen it it keeps popping up everywhere like why, why are you popping up all over my feet when you know I cannot walk out it's locked down, I'm in the room, and everyone's looking cute in these damn corset tops that I can't wear. So I'm like, I'm gonna make it. We are going to make this little guy. She's a corset. I put cups in her. I lined her. Um, she's lined with the same fabric over here. She's structured. And this is made out of upholstery fabric. Either way, that's the only fabric I had because the fabric stores are closed, so now we just we're just grabbing what we have, guys. How she cute. I did make it in a satin as well for you guys. I just didn't put boning in this just in case. You guys don't have boning. I didn't put no did I put cups here? I did put cups here. Um, but I didn't line the sleeves. I kind of did a fold fold and stitch. And then looped in the elastic and but we'll talk about all of that now now let us sew okay guys so you're basically gonna need some really sharp scissors some good pins that aren't gonna hook onto your fabric a great ruler or something that can make a right angle measuring tape with your measurements fabric marker to mark on your fabric and then the fabric of your choice if it's lightweight please get fusing and two cups of your bra size don't forget your hand needle for all the hand stitches so now I used the dress block to make my corset block and I kind of followed a specific book but I can link down a few books that can help you guys and then kind of drafted it in the shape that I wanted my corset to be. Ending up with all these four pieces, the front and the back. And then I did put in cups but I did make a cup seam. So this is the two pieces for my cup that I will need and then I shall attach the actual cup onto it. For my sleeve, I just shortened the length to the additional length that I wanted. Okay, so this is my fabric cut out. One is my outer facing fabric and the other is going to be my lining. I lined it with the same fabric. And then this is me just joining in my pieces. I am going to use a 2.5 stitch length and then the correct needle for this fabric, which is slightly thicker, not like a micro text. Rather use a universal if you do have. And then I am also I'm following my seam allowance mark which is 1.5 if yours is one follow the one mark now we're gonna do our cups and with our cups I am basically just going to follow my notches that I have made to make sure that they do curve at the right spot and this is me making sure that I manipulate the cup as I go with the two pieces because I have to kind of make the curve so the actual cup can be formed. Once that's done, you're going to have to iron all of your seams open, especially me using upholstery fabric. This is slightly harder because I'm not trying to melt anything. Don't forget to notch your cups and then also iron those seams open. Okay, so now we're gonna just pin our cups onto our actual front facing fabric and this is just like making sure that everything lines up before we actually sew and then sew the curve into place.
Do this for both sides. Don't forget to also notch and then also do the same steps exactly for your lining. The only difference with this is that we are going to put our boning in between our seams. Now there are many different types of ways to put boning in. I am basically just going to open my seams and do a zigzag stitch, but please do cover the ends of your boning if you are using a lightweight fabric. This fabric is quite hard, so I didn't cover them, but if you are, do cover the ends of your boning. And then when it comes to our cups, I pin my cuffs into place and then I hand stitch them onto the seam allowance, not going through the front of my fabric, but attach them to the seam allowance and place them solidly, making sure that everything will not shift or move because once I close it with the lining, you're not gonna see it again. This is me basically putting my lining right side to right side over my front facing fabric and we are going to join them together by making a seam. So make sure that all of your seams do match up and are in line and then close the whole front by going over the sides and the top. At the bottom, you can go to the bottom but leave a small gap so you are able to turn over inside out everything and then just have the small part to close either by hand stitching or by doing a top stitch throughout the bottom of your corset. So you'll close that part. And then moving on to the eyelets, you could have made hoops if you wanted by making little straps and then putting them through before closing, but I am going to use actual eyelets. So I'm using my leather belt hole maker and then piercing the holes because this fabric is quite thick before using my eyelet hand push thingy. Yeah, to actually put the eyelets through. You can actually go to a store if you don't have these gadgets and they will put eyelets in for you. Okay, so now I am going to do my sleeve and with my sleeve, I am just doing the seams for both my lining and for my outer facing and I'm going to put them right side to the right side before actually joining them together. I'm joining them together at the top with a 1.5 seam and then pulling it inside out and making sure that everything is neat and in line because we're going to do another seam that is going to create a cage for our elastic. So now I'm using a big safety pin, but I'm using a safety pin attached to my elastic to pull my elastic through. And then I am doing a zigzag stitch to make sure that my elastic does not snap when it's stretched to its fullest capacity. Don't forget to close the gap that you've made for the elastic and do the exact same for the bottom. You are going to stitch a whole line right through before actually closing and when you are closing the hem, leave a small gap so you are able to once again put through your elastic, pull it out and then do a zigzag stitch. And there is our little sleeve. Don't forget to hand stitch that closed. If you are gonna top stitch, make sure you top stitch the whole thing so it is even. So now we're going to attach our sleeves onto our bodice or our corset. And I am going to do that with a hand stitch. I have threaded it with two threads, meaning it's times four. And it's just better for me because the space is quite small that I've left for the armhole and then you're done. Basically, you just have to find a thread. I was just checking what kind of thread I wanted to use and ended up using one that actually matched the fabric, but thread your corset and you are done. And here is the final look, guys.
And then I also did another one in silk. It's not for me to say you please make sure you do subscribe and support so we can grow together and i'll see you guys next time bye